Let us now introduce the fundamental principles of home security, the four Ds. Your ultimate goal is to deter a burglar from trying to get into your home. However, if someone does try to get in, you must deny them entry. If this cannot be done, you will want to delay them by increasing the time it takes to get in. Doing so gives you or your neighbours a chance to detect them and call the police. The four key functions of security, deter, deny, detect and delay, are essential to your understanding of effective security systems. Also, to defeat a burglar, think like a burglar. These concepts of the four Ds are the underlying principles of organising layers of security around a protected asset. Layered security, also known as defence in depth, refers to the multiple security components that a potential attacker must go through or defeat before reaching something you protect. We will come back to this a bit later. In any security system, the various components are designed to be mutually supportive. Over the next few minutes, we will look at each D of home security in more detail and how they work together. Let's get started with the first function, deter. Sound residential security practices and good locks are a deterrent since they eliminate the opportunity for an easy burglary. Like many of us, burglars want the highest rewards with the least possible efforts. So the more challenging you make it to get into your house, the more likely it will be that a burglar passes on to the easier target or better still, goes away altogether. A burglar's greatest enemies are noise, time and light. If getting into your house makes noise, takes time or has to be in a well-lit area, they will lose interest. Let's now move on to the second D of home security, denying the intruder. Neither technology nor humans on their own offer complete protection. Integrating the two approaches is the best practice. Residential security usually consists of an integrated mix of physical safeguards, such as walls and gates, security and surveillance technology, for example, exterior and interior alarms, cameras and CCTV systems. Also security procedures and protocols. Security personnel, such as roving patrols, surveillance detection, teams and canine units. Combined, these work to deny access to your family and valuables. Let's now look at the third D of home security, delay. Any time an intruder tries to get through your ring of security, they will make noise and take time. For example, a tall security fence provides a barrier that will take time to penetrate. Delaying a burglar for four minutes is generally considered sufficient to prevent entry into a residential dwelling. A burglar wants to avoid being caught. So the longer it takes to force a door or window, the greater his risk. It is nearly impossible to make a house or apartment impregnable. But it is relatively easy and inexpensive to make forced entry difficult and to delay the burglar. It's now time to look at the fourth D of home security, detect. The possibility of detection is increased if you can force a burglar to work where he can be observed. A burglar also wants to avoid drawing attention to himself by making noise, such as breaking glass or smashing doors. Alarms on doors and windows are the surest way to detect a burglar, but watchful neighbours alert to unusual activity who will notify law enforcement authorities are also an effective means of detection. Detection is spotting that someone is trying to get in. You can detect intrusions by mechanical devices such as alarms, sensors and CCTV units or security staff. The longer you can delay someone getting in, the more likely it is that you will detect them. 